All right, guys. So the Scorpion album. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I feel like we waited long enough. To the extent when somebody was like, oh, the Scorpion album is about to drop. I was like, isn't that already out? Like, I feel like he dropped songs from the album like months ago. Neither here nor there. Okay. However, I will say he dropped it right in time for my flight to Atlanta. And thanks to Tidal allowing us to download it in advance, I was able to listen to it while on airplane mode, on repeat, bright and early in the morning. So thank you. May not come when you need it, but it's always right on time. <laughs> but, all right, cool. So, as you probably know by now, it's a side A, side B, right? Whatever you do, do not listen to this album on shuffle. Y'all, my emotions were all over the place. And I couldn't figure out why. It was because it was on shuffle. So, I re-listened to the album with it in the correct order. And there are some songs that I feel like should be on the R&B side, that are on the hip-hop side, and vice versa. But, who am I? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just the consumer. It is what it is. Um, but I will say, Drake has given us captions for the rest of 2018. I feel like I probably need to go write down those captions because... I just want to thank God for working hard than Satan. He's playing favorites. And it feels amazing. <laughs> like, that was just, look, listen, that was just off the top of my head, okay? You know, bars. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, um, one thing that I realized in this album is that Drake is still in love with Nicki Minaj. And I'm low-key here for it. However, how do you use clips of Nicki Minaj with her ex in the background? Come on, Drake. Like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> and that's what even worse. So Safari was saying, that's how you feel. But the name of the song is, that's how you feel. Like, bruh. <laughs> Come on. You you didn't think we would know who that was? Hmm? He was her hype man for like 10 years. You ain't thinking we knew who that was? Quit playing. <laughs> and lastly, my favorite song of the album was the song to his son, March 14th. Um, I think it was very open and honest and I think it addressed a lot of things that you know kind of the world was wondering um so it was very and it was very sweet and touching and you can tell it was very genuine um so I always love when celebrities uh especially musicians make songs about their child um I think it's beautiful like those are some of my favorite songs in the world um for sure hands down and then it was just really um touching like we saw I mean we've always seen Drake as like in tune with his emotions <laughs> we'll say that but it was it was just a different level to be able to connect with uh his son so that was beautiful but I want you guys to comment in the comments I want you to tell me what's your favorite quote from the album all right guys